Here in the San Francisco Bay Area, we truly are blessed with pretty much everything you could ever want. Great weather, the Golden Gate Bridge, burritos, a sex cult. You know, LA likes to pretend they're so much better than us, but do they have a sex cult? I mean, yeah, they do. But we have our own now. It's pretty exciting. Uh, Actually, we've had our own for a while, and I can't believe I somehow missed this. But One Taste is a business slash sex cult that launched here in 2001. One of the founders was Nicole Dayton, who, in spite of founding a sex cult, or perhaps because of it, uh, has been a featured speaker at TEDx and wrote a New York Times bestseller. The stated purpose of One Taste is to get more women to experience orgasmic pleasure, which, hey, great start, and I'm totally down for that, so to speak. Uh, They started out by having events in which men would put on gloves with lube and then finger a woman until she orgasms uh, in front of a crowd. So yeah, I guess it got pretty weird pretty fast. Uh, They call it orgasmic meditation or OM, in which they tell the woman to just lie back and meditate uh, and just think of their own pleasure and not worry about any reciprocation. So yeah, okay, I'm kind of getting back on board with it. Unfortunately, women who did get into it uh, have a less than rosy story to tell. This week, reporter Ellen Hewitt wrote for uh, Bloomberg about One Taste, exposing the even seedier underbelly of this cult. Uh, That's right. It gets even seedier than men in gloves fingering women on stage until they orgasm. One ex-employee said that they were encouraged to solve pretty much all problems in the workplace with sex. So have you ever had a coworker who you absolutely couldn't stand? Uh, Fuck them. Literally. Uh, literally fuck them. I legit can't think of a worse fate. Uh, like think of all the coworkers you've had who you hated. Now think of you going to your boss and being told that you have to have sex with them. Gross. Uh, but people went along with it because cults like that thrive on appealing to sad, broken people who need help. And in this case, they attracted people who had been victims of sexual abuse or people with no real understanding of what makes a healthy relationship. Then they taught those people to use sex as a way to magically fix everything, no matter what was wrong. All of that would be bad enough, but then you find out that they clearly took some lessons from Scientology, literally. Uh, Like I said, they're not just a sex cult, they're also a business, and that business is based on selling classes that cost thousands of dollars and are required for employees to move up in the organization. That means that the people working for the company are actually losing money, uh, some racking up hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Sound familiar? Yep, it's just Scientology with sex. One former employee revealed that they even have priests and priestesses that dress all in white and that the company started to adopt the thought process of, and I quote, we all know that this stuff is actually good, but the world isn't going to see it that way. So we're going to adapt and comply, but all the while keep the core of what we really want to do sacred and hidden. Sound familiar? Yep. Yep. That's just like the Scientologists who don't talk about Xenu or the Mormons who don't talk about like half the insane shit that they secretly are into. Like, you know, remember that bigamy stuff? That's all right. Let's just pretend to not be into that for a while. Uh, And I know not all Mormons currently are into bigamy. Please hold your letters, but read up on it. It's pretty silly the way that they changed their official church doctrine in order to comply with the state government. Uh, so that they could continue existing while continuing to do shady stuff secretly. So, uh, so yeah, in the same vein, One Taste uh, now makes you stick around and take a few classes before you get to finger a lady on stage or be fingered. They've uh, sort of hidden some of those seedier aspects in order to be more friendly and uh, legitimate in the eyes of uh people who wouldn't necessarily want to go join a sex cult. They've heard the cult label before, and one spokesperson, uh, the head of their London office, yes, they're spreading like a bad case of herpes, uh, 
told Daily Beast, and I quote, whenever people come together in a way that some people find confronting, especially centered around women, the cult accusation will come up. If you add orgasm and sexuality into the mix, that lights the whole thing on fire. Sure, buddy, it's because it's centered on women. Let's hide behind that. Or it's centered on bankrupting women after giving them a truly fucked up idea of what sex and relationships are all about. So if you want to explore your sexuality, you'd be better off just downloading Tinder and getting to work. Find someone to rub your clip for 15 minutes. I bet you can. Uh, I bet if you're in a major metropolitan area, uh, you can even find one whose fetish involves gloves uh, and an audience. Just try to stay away from scammy cults like One Taste. <laughs> 